Well, we're at the national, national, no less, NMRA <laughs> convention in Salt Lake City. Oh, wow. After all this time, it's here. It's finally made it, and so have we. <laughs> <laughs> Barely, after the big boy and after, all of oh, the, uh, the golden wow. spike. And, yeah. What a year it's been. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, uh, we're heading down there right now. Yesterday, we entered the F3 units. We did, finally. Finally, they're in the competition. And so we're heading down there to, to check in on the contest and see how things are going and to go to the convention and do all manner of things. But uh, that's what we're up to this week, the model contest at the National NMRA Convention. Check it out. Wow, nice hotel. It's the Little America in Salt Lake City. No kidding, that's beautiful. It's one of the fancier ones oh, in town. Oh, yeah. It's the same as the Little America in Wyoming, same chain. Oh my goodness, but minus the gas pumps. <laughs> minus the gas pumps. The NMRA conventions use a silent auction, and I went in there and fell in love with absolutely everything, of course. Oh my goodness, look at that. <laughs> Isn't that great? And this is one of my favorite kits of all time, Ravel's Superior Bakery. And I think we should do a Tuesday show on that. I it's think a, so. <laughs> it's a great kit. Anyway, what's really brought us here is the, the contest. This week we're talking about the contest and some really, really great entries. And uh, we finally got the F3 units into a, into a contest. Here they are, uh, for the most part, finished and showing at a contest. 20 years in the making. The last thing to go in were, uh, was the wiring and the headlights and so on. But there it is, mostly done. And look at this, two, oh, two awards. That's about time. It's about time. First place diesels and most realistic motive power. How wow, about that? Nice. That is some prestigious stuff there. So I'm I'm very thrilled. But there there were some great uh, great models here. Some. Uh, steam locomotives not not too much in the way of diesels but some beautiful beautiful steam locomotives i like this one isn't that great they had some good documentation on the prototype as well and i fell in love with this this little box cab that was one of my favorite models in the whole room look at that that is so detailed that's beautiful Now, in structures, this sawmill was getting all the attention. No kidding. I couldn't quit looking at it. I kept going back for more. Oh, and we photographed and photographed and photographed. Everywhere you look, there's more detail and then more detail and then more detail. This is just a stunning model. They're calling it the Star Creek Sawmill. They've drawn their own plans. It's all scratch built and they've done extensive casting here, and they made their own molds and, of course, patterns for those molds. Just incredible modeling of a really, really interesting, interesting structure. This is apparently the prototype, the Sturgeon's Sawmill in California. We saw that one uh, steam-powered sawmill at Antiques Powerland at Brooks, Oregon. Right. 
Wasn't that neat? That was neat. And it, it gives an appreciation for what we're seeing here because, well, we've been in a steam-powered sawmill before. Right. So we can sort of recognize the, the cut-off saws, the rip saws, and, and all of that sort of thing. And a pickle plant. <laughs> oh my goodness, Al would have been so happy. <laughs> I wish Al would have seen this. He built that incredible O-scale pickle plant. And you can't say pickle plant without smiling. But th this one's just dead on accurate. They've got the vinegar car, the, uh, the pickle cars. They've got everything exactly the way this should have been done. Detailed right down to the cucumbers. What a deal. Oh. <laughs> Score one for you, but some some beautiful models. Check this out. the Union Pacific's Dale Creek Trestle in Wyoming. And this is a Union Pacific uh, passenger station. I thought at first it was the one in Park City. Oh. And well, it's exactly the same. It is. But the sign says Alpine. Alpine. So I don't know if, uh, well, uh, just what, but it's, mm. it's, uh, it's exactly the one they have in Park City it here sure in is. Uh, Utah. Oh, look, a mobile home. <laughs> you think so, right? One of those old ones? This is uh, a, a little shed uh, for sharpening saws that was designed to be hauled out into the forest uh, by the loggers. But what a stunning model. Yeah, look at the detail. Just unbelievable detail. It's totally realistic. And this diorama that was, was getting... <laughs> that was my favorite right there. I think I, I was I was torn between this and the sawmill. Right. The marine railway here. Oh, that is so neat. Such detail and just one of my favorite favorite subjects. And uh, Steve did 
his marine railroad. And we've, we've got a film up on that, so I'll put a link here to Steve's marine railway. But this facility is just, oh. Just Amazing. Detail on yeah. detail on detail. Look at that. They, they had it right, accurate right down to the seagull poop. Exactly. I mean, it, just, it was all right here. Well, you would anticipate seeing some world-class models at an NMRA national, and we weren't disappointed. We were not. Wow. Wow, indeed. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Just incredible, incredible models. Uh, haven't found out just yet uh, who got best of show. Dying to know. No kidding. <laughs> so if you know, put in the comments uh, below. Uh, just exactly which of these models won what because I haven't seen a list of that just yet Well, we've got a lot of things going on with the convention. We do more, more things coming oh, But my. Uh, that's the model contest. Isn't that great? And now we're gonna head off uh, Tomorrow as a matter of fact to see a bunch of real trains. Oh, man. So this should be fun We're going to the front runner and to the tracks be a lot uh, of facilities yeah. not just riding the trains but we're going into the shops and oh, the facilities wow. and <laughs> turning on the turntable and all kinds of silly things like that oh, well. <laughs> so that, that should be a lot of fun well if you haven't been over to the channel pop over to the channel and if you're not a subscriber here is the golden opportunity are we ready for it yes Zoom! right there blue button well, we're not sure how you found this movie on the internet. We hope you didn't find it boring, and we will see you here in a few days with the Collector's Attic. We'll yeah, see you then. I'll see you. Bye bye. bye.